Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video, I want to talk to you about one of the, well, a great feature for click sites, especially when you're editing your pages on your website, is the click sites AI assistant. Okay. So uh, what I'll begin with, let's just say, let's actually look at the assistant itself. So to the tab to the left, you'll see the assistant there. Select the assistant and it'll open up this AI assistant panel here. Now you're going to be greeted by a number of different tabs, which one will be general, ask questions and edit text. Now, these are specifically going to be for different things. So say, for example, general is more for designing or for editing commands. OK, for designing or editing, asking questions. Uh, this is this is going to be uh, asking questions that aren't related to designing and editing and then for editing or edit selected text that's going to be more for specifically targeting the um, text or the blocks and that will essentially give you more precise results now there is a setting cog there you can actually use a microphone if I select that then I can narrate in there if I want uh, there's something called command blocks they are kind of preset examples that you can actually use um, and then you can edit or tailor make them uh, to match exactly what you need and then you've got the little eraser there so let's go ahead and let me find an example if i can paste this in here so here's an example that's not related to the coffee but i'll show you why in just a moment so add a new header section for our web studio include a compelling headline and a call to action button and all i'll do is simply do go ahead and send and you'll see it will start working um in the background now as it's done that you can see now it's created this new header section welcome to our web studio so it's done that i don't need to go create it it's added a call to action button explore our portfolio and that's it now having said that yes it's not really related to coffee what can i do about that um, i could say update this content to being coffee related okay and i'll simply select and ideally, I could have done that from the start, but if I just want to, for the purpose of the example, I just kind of want to show you how it can just quickly change things on the fly. So any text, if you copied and pasted something or used something or you wanted to model something, you can actually paste it in here, get the AI to actually spin it and alter it and adjust it. And as simple as that, now we have a fully functional heading page with a clickable button. Now, I can actually go further and say, look, uh, add a background image if I wanted. And there you go, it's added an image. And if I wanted to, I could go in, in the settings and I could actually adjust that again and put coffee image or something that would be better suited for that. Now, um, in terms of that, so you kind of get the idea. Let me actually uh, return, let's get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so I could just say, delete actually delete background image there you go it'll get rid of it for me okay so once i've done that that's a good example um i can actually then you know i can do all sorts of different things so say for example um it could create me headlines Okay, the, uh, let's see if I can get this. So let me just get this up. So if I wanted to, I could say, you know, let's, let's do this. Create a section with that highlights. Um, again, it's very similar to what I've just done now, but we can actually ask command and you can have an image next to it. Um, just to show you the kind of different sections we can create and we can change. We can actually change the text. We can um, edit select text here. Say, for example, we could say, you know, add a gradient color here of blue and yellow uh, there we go let's see and then you you can see how that's actually done that now we can do all kinds of things we can change the font we can say increase the size of the font uh you know if you have a different design style so you can really customize and alter the entire page and everything just by using the assistant and you can see that when i did select the text right you can see the container is now highlighted by the green 
line so you always got to make sure depending what you are working on that you are highlighting that section and then you select edit selected text so that's specific to what you're editing now generally if you if you want general um commands then you would have to always come back to general okay that's very very important that you always come to general and even selected text when you come you can see um now it's highlighted by green uh, we could actually add a underline and different things now uh, bearing in mind with images as well, uh, as you've seen in a previous video, you can have those animated, you can have them change. So it goes nicely hand in hand and you can really customize how um, you want it. Now, moving on, let's clear that. There we go, clear it. Now, if we ask the question, okay, actually, revolution business, yes, general, make this about coffee. Let's just update it so we have a bit more congruent theme. Okay, enhance your coffee experience with AI powered brewing solutions. Okay, so it's now you can see it's giving me two variations. So what I'll do, I can go back, I can say the same thing, but I'm just doing it as the edit selected text, so specific send. So we want it to work on the text opposed to the entire page and give me that variation. And now you can see that text. Because I had it in general, it created me a brand new section. It's essentially taken that and it's updated everything here. So look, elevate your coffee experience with AI powered brewing solutions. So it's, it is very, very powerful in that sense. And then I can just remove that if I want. Okay, so hopefully that, that you can see the power of that. Now, if I wanted to, I could ask a question, create 10, create um, let's say five ways to make the best coffee cup a uh, best best cup of coffee okay so essentially you can have this create your articles you can take sections of content and say look can you make me a tweet can you make me a facebook post a social media post you can you know create long form articles that you can use so here we go, uh, create five ways to make the best cup of coffee. And just like that, you can see, okay? You can then come back and if you wanted to, you could say, you know, can you summarize this into one paragraph? You, can you shorten it? And so, can, so you can see how quickly that's just come up with that. We can add a background image, we can come back. Um, we can change the coloring, underlining, the font, the style. So it's very versatile in that, but just remember, depending on what you require from there, if you have a question and it's not really related to designing in that sense, then yes, um, always make sure you come to ask questions for anything that's not related to design and editing. Anything that is related to designing or editing, then always make sure you go to general. And then you have the uh, edit, select a text that's more it basically allows you to pinpoint exactly what you're looking for in terms of designing something that's specific so if you want a sp uh, precise results then that's what you're going to use um, but generally you have those other two options available to you now the other great thing that i i, I do uh, like about the assistant is if you go to because i haven't shown this yet but if you go to the command examples i select it will give me a number of preset questions here that i can choose from so say for example on a standard section you know, it's got create a section that highlights AI powered web solutions, create a section containing an article on ideas of outdoor activities, include a minimum of 300 words. So it's giving me a number of different uh, preset um, examples or commands that I can use. But even if it creates it, remember just the way I showed you that you could use, you could select it and you could rephrase these to make them more in line with your theme or your topic of exactly what you require. Or like you've seen what I've done is I've used it as is and it's generated me that content and then I've used the assistant again to then spin that content or to change it according to my topic and my subject so it's completely changed it for me and made it more in line for exactly what I am after so it's, it's really intelligent in, the, in, in that in that sense so look, look at this create a section containing a feature list of wood cabin for rent if I select that you can see there uh, let's go ahead and next. So just give a few moments for it to do its thing. 
to build it out. And just like that. So I've, I've asked, create a section containing a feature list of our wood cabin for rent. And it's done that. It's, it's really as simple as that. So because now we're working on this section, you can see it's in the green. Can you make this coffee related? Okay. I go select. And just like that, just like that, coffee breaks features, ar ar aromatic coffee blend, cozy coffee nuke, um, coffee lovers paradise. And then again, I can use the editor. I can go to specific um, sections. But remember, if I'm going to a specific section here, you can see now it's highlighted. I have to make sure that I'm in the edit selected text because that's more precise now. If I do the general one, it'll probably capture everything within the section. So uh, whenever I want to work on something individually, then I always make sure I come to the third selected text tool here, opposed to um, just general. Now, alongside that, obviously, if you wanted to, um, you can add the background image, you can change the text, the font, the color, the style, uh, which is another fantastic thing that you can do. Now, Another aspect is that hasn't been covered. You may have noticed this now. Now stuff like this once it shows me a preview, I can just come here, delete. Fantastic. Okay, so another great feature that I love is the AI tool bar. Okay, you may have seen this, and this I think is another great part of the AI capability. So if you go, if you've seen the section that we've created here, if I just go to the top right hand side there you can see it's got a AI toolbar so it's got AI rewrite and it's got the ability to AI redesign and there will, there will be other settings where you can actually um, save this section style that you've created and then later on you can actually redesign with save style and then you've got settings as well where you can change um, even the redesign style that you can choose from so you can actually test and tweak these okay so uh, if I went ahead and wanted to change it on the fly and not do anything, I'd simply come here. Let's uh, do an AI rewrite. So it's going to alter and rewrite the text. Okay, so it's going to go off and do its thing and then give me another variation. And then we can make a comparison between both. So there we have two now, elevate your coffee experience. And we've got transform your coffee experience with AI powered brewing solutions with in innovative AI driven brewing solutions. Redefine your coffee experience, our cutting edge AI integrated brewing solutions, leverage latest technology. So you can see it's given me two variations and we can just go on and on and on and we can make changes. I mean, even if you even if you didn't like either, you could actually use um, both for inspiration and create your own unique headline if you wanted to. Or I could take some of this that I like and I could add it to. Um, the original one so it gives you ideas so you never have that writer's block that you're never ever stuck okay now the next great part is that if I want I can select AI redesign so it will have have itself re redesign the entire section here so let's have a look what it comes up with so now you can see it has been mirrored essentially it's been changed position and if I go again let's see is it going to change it again and if so, what will it actually generate for me? Elevate your coffee experience. So it working on this on this uh, template, this specific block, essentially, it will be either or left or right. OK. And again, if you really wanted to, you could change the color. Uh, you didn't need this obviously has a gradient that we've applied. We don't have to. We can actually keep it as simple um, and have it as one color and we can highlight. So. So that, that essentially is the AI uh, assistant tool there. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. And, and I think you'll probably see that when you're when you're using it. But th those are the key things that you should always remember, depending on what you're using it for, that you have to select the right tab in order to get the correct response and um, the outcome that you, you, you desire. So remember, general is for design and editing commands. Questions. Asking questions, their commands that are anything else uh, apart from design and editing. Okay, if you're if it's not design or editing related, then ask questions is 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 the one that you should be using. If you want more precise results, then uh, this will specifically allow you edit selected text like so here. Okay, 
will be the tool that will allow you to pinpoint exactly what you're trying to adjust and using the AI tool for that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and make sure you go and test this out. And I think you'll have an amazing time testing and using this.